Hey guys, how's it going? Lily King Fawcett for President 2036, and can you believe there's only 5,415 days until I succeed the 2032 president and ascend to my throne on the 2036 election board? Now, I don't want to make you bored, so let's just hop right into it. Kamala Harris actually believes that anyone in 10 years is going to remember the January 6 riots at the same level and intensity as 9-11 and Pearl Harbor. I shit you not. Here, let's take a listen. Hear it from the horse's mouth. But let's listen to the vice president. Certain dates echo throughout history, including dates that instantly remind all who have lived through them where they were and what they were doing when our democracy came under assault. Dates that occupy not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. December 7th, 1941. September 11th, 2001, and January 6th, 2021. What you just heard isn't made up. It isn't, a, what do you call it, one of those AI-generated things. The vice president of the United States of America just compared... Wait, wait, how many people died in Pearl Harbor? 2,403. How many people died in the Capitol riots? Five. Five. And actually, if we look a little bit closer, we'll see that no, five did not die. There were five deaths, one from gunshot wound, one from drug overdose, which was that Capitol Riot uh, officer, Officer Sicknick, having an allergic reaction to capsaicin, and then three from natural causes, mainly just methamphetamine overdoses and heart attacks. I just truly cannot believe that she's saying with a straight face that, you know, that 3,000 people can die in 9-11 and 2,500 can die in Pearl Harbor, but two people can die on the Capitol and it's automatically up there with Pearl Harbor. It makes no sense. So I want to go ahead and go on Wikipedia real quick and share with you every single domestic violence incident, I mean, domestic terrorist incident that has happened within the last 80 years that is bigger than the Capitol riots and have an actual effect on American democracy. We have the Tulsa race riots where almost 300 people were lynched to death during segregation, but we're not going to talk about it. There's also the Bath School disaster where a man was angered by his property taxes being ra um, raised, so he detonated dynamite in a school. We have the Wall Street bombing of 1920 where it killed 38 people. Um, we have the Los Angeles Times bombing in 1910. You see these terrorist attacks actually killed more people than that stupid little capital riot you have. But see, these are all over a hundred years ago. Let's get something a little bit more modern, shall we? In 1950, uh, uh, let's start from 1960 onward. Let's start from the dead. Dead unknown. Wow. The amount of dead being literally unknown. Wow. Suffering from success. Okay. But you know what? Let's get a little bit more modern because I don't want to bring up something that happened a hundred years ago. You know, America's a changed nation, you know? So back in 1963, the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing happened where the Ku Klux Klan planted bombs inside of African American church, killing four young African American girls and injuring 22 more. But you know, if we want to get away from racism, more people died in the JFK, an equal amount of people died in the JFK assassination than the Capitol riots of 2020, uh, Capitol riots of January 6, 2021. I can bet you, ten, I can bet you 10 to 1 there are more people that remember November 22nd, 1963 in America than January 6, 2021. It's because an assassination of a politic, of, a, of the President of the United States of America is way more important than having one Capitol officer die on the scene because he can't handle some spicy pepper. Okay, listen, pepper spray, ain't that bad. Now, let's go a little bit closer because you think, you know, only two people dying is such a terroristic attack. Back in 1973, we have the upstairs lounge arson attack at a gay bar. This was against the gay community, which you so, so, so love so much. Um, the, um, what do you call it? The LaGuardia Airport bombing in 1975, which killed 11 people. You notice that these are incidents after um, Pearl Harbor that killed more people than the Capitol riots. All because it happened at your place of work does not make it more important than some of these. But just get, just wait till I get to the more modern ones. There was a bombing in the 19, there was someone bombing, uh, what do you call 
Hall in the uh, New York City in the 1970s. Those active perpetrators of terrorism in New York City were the Fuerzas Armas de Liberación Nacional, a Puerto Rican separatist group. Would you really want to go ahead and bring up the Puerto Ricans when it comes to terrorism? Absolutely not, because it, go it goes against your message. And then we also have the um, a bomb planted in the Francis uh, Tavern in New York City killing four people. Again, more Puerto Ricans are blowing up stuff in the 1970s, but we don't want to talk about that, okay? Listen, if you're going to talk about domestic terrorism, talk about all the dates, okay? Oh, or is it just not that important that Puerto Ricans were blowing up stuff? Oh, in 1974, the Alphabet Bomber was bombing Pam Am terminals. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. But you know what, let's get out of the 1970s because you know, we're more of a modern folk. Let's go to the 1980s where everything was hip, cool, and there was no racism. In the 1980s, we we're actually doing very good. We only had a couple uh, terrorist attacks that actually led with only one killing each, but none of them were equal to the Capitol riots. So honestly, we don't care, you know, because when two people die in a uh, domestic terrorist attack, it's automatically up there with like 9-11 and Pearl Harbor. But now let's go to the 1990s where if you are older than the age of 40, you'll know this incident ingrained in the back of your skull. The Oklahoma City bombing. Now, the Oklahoma City bombing was, how do we say, controversial because one, Timothy McVeigh blew up half of a federal building killing 168 because the government killed 73 people at Waco Siege. So who was really the bad guy there? Can we call this domestic terrorism or can we call this an orchestrated hit by the FBI in order to kill the Branch Davidians? I don't know. But let's go ahead and talk about the World Trade Center bombing. Now listen, if you're below the age of 20, you probably didn't know this, but the World Trade Center was actually bombed once before it got actually taken out with two towers, I mean taken out with two planes, by the same exact terrorist group who tried to destroy it in the first time, uh, Al-Qaeda. So Al-Qaeda bombed the World Trade Center and then took it down eight years later, okay? I'm pretty sure we should be more concerned with six people dying and then literally us getting a warning of, hey, these towers are going to come down, than some stupid little hillbillies going on the Capitol stairs. And then that's all it for the 1990s. But no, wait, there's more. So you want to keep bringing up terrorist attacks that don't mean anything? In the 2000s, we had, obviously, 9-11, which was an actually bad day where the Al-Qaeda people we were just talking about actually took steps to make their plan come to fruition unlike these capital rioters that just showed up one day and was like eh, we can go in okay cool all right let's go february 16th october 24th 2022 the bellway sniper attacks you know what i'm gonna do Kamala? i'm gonna give you this one okay i'm gonna i'm gonna allow you to say oh we can't have a date here because guess what this happened over a couple months okay some guy was just taking pop shots where was this was this at um was this at the college no this was just uh what do you call it? Just a random guy trying to extort the government for money, even though no one was kidnapped. Weird. But on to the next one. Let's talk about November 5th, 2009 with a 2009 Fort Hood shooting. This quite possibly is more detrimental to American society than the Capitol riots. Want to know why? The 2009 Fort Hood shooting actually took place not on American soil, on an American base where Nabil Malik Hassan, I know it's a big it's a big name and it's a name a little more ethnic than usual that you don't want to say, killed 13, uh, killed 13 people and wounding 20 nine and then he, in his trial he actually did act as his own attorney and took responsibility for the attack which i mean that 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 is that is that is noble i mean if you are going to kill 13 people at least act like your own lawyer but but you know what let's get on to the next one march 25th 2006 the capitol hill massacre you don't want to talk about that or what about november 18th through november uh september 18th through november 21st bioterrorism remember those anthrax attacks that were happening in the early 2000s if you're below the age of 20 then you're not going to remember but people were sending literally the anthrax through the mill and trying to kill people okay that was more detrimental to american society because you were afraid to open up your damn mail maybe they should have gone through the security checkpoints but it wasn't like that it wasn't their house it wasn't like they walked into you know your bedroom come on and then the last one for the 2000s was the 2003 West Virginia Sniper. I think that was the one I was, um, what do you call it, uh, confused with. I think that was, was that the one where we did uh, the colleges? I don't know. And then after that, there was no other... Um, there was no other in the 2000s, but now let's go to the 2010s. Now let's go to something a little bit more recent because I know you guys forget a lot of things and don't keep your eyes on the prize and stay within the media cycle, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about something a little bit more recent, something within the, something within the past 10 years that has more of a cultural significance than the Capitol riots, okay? On June 12, 2016, do you remember the Orlando nightclub shooting where, uh, what do you call it? What was his name? Omar Mateen killed 49 people at a gay club. Not only did he kill people, he took away people 
people's rights to party at a gay club. Even though it says right here there's no evidence that Mateen targeted Pulse because it was a gay club or that he specifically was motivated by anti-LGBT hate, it says in the same sentence that he pledged allegiance to ISIS. I'm pretty sure you can't be pro-LGBT and be a member of ISIS at the same time. I'm pretty sure that goes against the whole, like, jihad thing, you know, the whole, like, uh, you know, um, between men and women type of thing. So, we'll just keep that in the back of your mind. But let's go ahead and go to the next one. The 2019 El Paso shooting. Patrick Curvidius of Allen, Texas, killed 19 people Um he killed 19 people at a Walmart in El Paso because his beliefs in the Great Replacement Theory and a supposed Spanish invasion, a uh, Hispanic invasion of Texas. In 2019, this was a conspiracy theory. In 2021, this is real. Have you been to Texas in the past five years? You need to speak Spanish in order to go through that entire state or else you're going to starve to death. It's almost like an exclave of Me uh, Mexico. Now, December 2nd, 2015, 2015 San Bernardino attack. Is this the one? Oh, no, this isn't the one where the incel shot up those people. No, no, no. But I know he's on here. No, I'm October 27th, 2018, uh, the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting. A lot of you guys aren't going to remember this stuff because the news cycle, as soon as it doesn't show a white guy killing black people, all of a sudden it just gets dropped out of the news cycle. But trust me, I remember. I got myself a 9,000 IQ and I remember everything. I let nothing get past me. Now, this one, a classic. Remember June 17th, 2019, the Dylan Roof incident, the white supremacist that shot up an African Methodist Escapacal, Esp Escopial, excuse me, church in South Carolina? Remember that guy that everyone keeps crying? Oh, they gave him a Burger King to uh, soften him up and all that to congratulate him for killing black people. No, okay, listen, that was an actual domestic terrorist incident, okay? with with uh, That was actually something of cultural importance, okay? Just, 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 just stop. There's more important things that have happened in the past 10 years than your stupid little b b pity party on the Capitol steps. But no, let's keep going. October 31st, 2017 in New York City, there was a, um, I, I remember seeing this on Instagram actually, where a guy drove a Home Depot flatbed through a mile along a bike path in lower Manhattan killing eight people. It was several blocks away from where the 9-11 attacks occurred. But no, let's keep going. Let's, you know what? Let's keep going. We have the Wisconsin Sikh Temple shooting. We have the 2015 Chattanooga shootings, where Mohammed Yosef Al-Dubaziz opened fire on two military installations in Tennessee. So this guy was shooting at military um, bases, yet you were completely made not aware by this. Why? He killed four Marines immediately and then killed a Navy sailor? Yes, two days later, died of his injuries. But no, let's keep going. The Christopher Dorner shooting in Manhunt. A guy went on a killing streak targeting police officers. You don't hear about that. We have the Boston Marathon bombing, which I remember this clear as crystal because I was hanging around in my neighborhood when I saw that thing pop on the TV. How come no one remembers the date of the Boston Marathon bombings? The Boston Marathon literally happens every single year. They didn't stop doing it. It's almost as if they're using the Capitol riot incident to stir a political controversy and solidify themselves inside the house only for personal gain. If it wasn't, then they'd be talking about these other terrorist attacks on the daily in the news cycle, or at least have a day of remembrance. But no, so you're telling me bigger terrorist attacks with more nefarious intent behind them aren't remembered, but stupid little hillbillies occupying the steps of the Capitol because they thought that the election was rigged is? Interesting. Interesting. What did you mean by that? But no, let's keep going. December 10th, 2019, the Jersey uh, City shooting. Oh, in April 13th, 2014, the Oakland Park Jewish Community Center shooting. And then in 2014, we have the Las Vegas shootings. Okay, that one was committed by a couple, which honestly, romance, relationship goals. But sadly, I, 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 I like I like breathing, so I don't want to be reeled up and down by, you know, nine millimeters by cops. Um, in On uh, November 27th, 2015, the Colorado Springs Planned Parenthood shooting. This should be one that the entire pro-choice community should be up and arms about remembering every year you know giving like a porn 40s out you know giving like a fist bump to the man above uh what do you call for in, re in, in in remembrance of this attack but no you never hear about it okay we have another shooting at a naval air station where a saudi aviation student killed three u.s navy sailors and wounded eight more by opening fire 
at a base in Pensacola. Why do we keep allowing these people on our bases is beyond me. And then the, uh, we have a couple more. We have the 2010 West Memphis police shootings um, by who supported by a man who was a sovereign citizen. You know, all libertarians beware. Um, we have December 16, 2011, the uh, what do you call it? The, the killing of Michael Rourke and Tiffany York. We have the shootings in June 2014 about, you know, Seattle shooting. Uh, we have the Portland train attack on May 26, 2017. We have October 24, 2018, the Jefferson shooting. A man literally killed two African-Americans outside a store. And that's the last one in the 2010s that actually is of equal death value to the Capitol riots. Remember, all because one, one person got shot to death and one person had a stroke after eating too much pepper spray. The other three deaths weren't caused by the riots. They were just high off at uh, methamphetamine. I'll show you. Don't worry. And now, in this decade, there have been, there's been one single terrorist attack that has actually killed an equal amount of people to the Capitol riots. It was the 2020 Boogaloo killings. Two men, Stephen Cirillo and Robert Justice, were accused of two ambush-style attacks on police, which... And that isn't really terror. It's just some guys popping shots about the police, but you get a federal, it's a federal hate crime or a federal crime or something like that. So it's considered uh, terrorism. I don't know. But th the incidents I just wrote off to you were more deadly, more impactful physically to the American people than. Uh, what do you call it? the Capital Six riots of 2021? They are going to use that incident for political gain literally into the 2040s, and I'm not going to stand for it. If anyone during my cam campaign brings up the January 6, 2021 uh, incident, I'm going to act like I've never heard of it because it's actually so unimportant. Nothing was changed because of it. One person fucked around and found out and got a nine in their chest, and the other one just died of natural, uh, died of a stroke, okay? It wasn't anything that changed American history. There was no attempt on the government to change the results of the election. Be there, 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 wa there wasn't. What were people occupying that structure going to realistically do? Everything's on satellite. Everything's written down electronically. There was nothing you could have done unless you literally destroyed and killed every single person in that building, which wasn't going to happen. Really? If you even watch the footage of the Capitol, right? If they were there to actually do some business, they would have been packing more heat than an oven. But guess what? Everyone there was just armed with um, uh, American uh, uh, what, American flags and MAGA shirts, okay? It wasn't that hard, man. So Kamala Harris, next time you want to talk about January 6, 2021, you can talk about it. But as soon as you acknowledge all the other bigger terrorist attacks, not only on the American people, but also on our American servicemen from all those ones that happened at military bases. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leland King Files set for president in 2036, and we live in a clown world. Don't forget it. It's only going to get worse. Stock up now.